Hello everyone, my name is Tang Yun, the PhD candidate from the University of Hong Kong, the Department of Electrical and Electronical Engineering. Here, I want to present my research updates about the fluorescence magnetic illumination using graphene quantum dots and iron oxide silica composites for AFP detection. This is the outline. First, I will introduce the basic information about my work, the importance of AFP detection, the advantages of graphene quantum dots, iron oxide nanocomposites, and our work. Moreover, I will introduce the methodology about the fabrication process, including the preparation of graphene quantum dots and the conjugation with AFP antibody named AB1 and the preparation of modified iron oxide silicon nanoparticles and the conjugation with the AFP antibody named AB2. Finally, to perform the AFP detection using the AB1 conjugated TQD AFP and AB2 conjugated with the iron oxide silica illumino complex. From the related literature, the liver cancer represents 6% and 9% of the global cancer incidence and the mortality burden respectively. And the liver cancer is the second most common cause of death from cancer worldwide liver. The alpha fetoprotein is a single polypeptide chain glycoprotein, and high AFP levels are found in some typical cancer tumors, such as the cancer tumors in stomach or livers. Therefore, AFP can be used as the biomarker to detect cancer cells. We need better AFP detection technology for better cancer treatment. However, due to the time-consuming, low sensitivity and the complex operation in conventional methods for AFP detection, the effective and simple technology is still in their need. The silica-coated iron oxide nanoparticles hold much promise for targeted drug delivery and bioseparation. Furthermore, graphene quantum dots GQD, with normal photo properties are widely used in biomedical diagnosis. Moreover, the combination of graphene quantum dots and iron oxide nanoparticles present its unique advantages which including the increased chemical stability, grant fluorescent property to the composite, increased biocompatibility, simple drug loading via pipeline stacking, and pH controlled release. For the carboxylate group in graphene is 4.2. The pH of lysosome in cell is nearly 5, which are very close. Motivated by these advantages, we report on novel strategies of fluoromagnetic illumination based on GQDs and iron oxide and silica nanoparticles for AFP detection. Firstly, the GQDs were fabricated by citric acid pyrolysis method, and AFP antibody AB1 was covalent conjugated on GQDs with fluorescence labeling. Subsequently, the spherical iron oxide nanoparticles were prepared through a modified thermal decomposition method and modified with silica and carboxylic group, which induced the covalent connection with the capture antibody AB2. This is the schematic illustration for the synthesis of GQD and the conjugation of GQD with AFP antibody AB1. The graphene quantum dots were prepared while directly paralyzing citric acid. Typically, citric acid was heated to 200 degrees centigrade 
for 20 minutes. And the blue luminescent GQD aqueous solution was obtained after neutralization. And AFP antibody AB1 was covalently conjugated on GQDs with fluorescence labeling. The purchased GQD solution were first sonicated for 10 minutes, then added EDC and NHS EMES buffer and steering for 30 minutes to activate the carboxylic group on GQDs. Then, the AFP antibody AB1 in PBS buffer was added into the mixture and incubated for 2 hours at room temperature. The final product, AB1 conjugation with GQD, was obtained. Figure 2 is the schematic illustration for the fabrication of iron oxide silicon nanoparticles in the conjugation of nanoparticles with AFP capture MP body AB2. The iron oxide nanoparticles are prepared in the three neck flex containing the mixture of the iron fine powder, oleic acid, and the ODE. And then the mixture was steered in a flow of nitrogen and first heated to 200 degrees centigrade for 30 minutes and then heat to 300 degrees centigrade for one hour. The final solution was purified by adding chloroform for three times. The silica coating on ionoxide nanoparticles are achieved via an optimized inverse macroemulsion method. The mixture was steered at room temperature for 40 hours. Subsequently, TOS was added dropwise, and the mixture was continuously steered for two hours at room temperature. The final products of iron oxide silicon nanoparticles were precipitated by adding excess ethanol through centrifugation. And the as synthesized silica kosher nanoparticles were dried and dispersed in tolerance by stirring for 10 minutes. By adding APTS, the mixture was first heated to 100 degrees centigrade for 20 minutes and then reflux for 10 hours and the nitrogen. Afterwards, the solution was centrifuged and the, the precipitates were washed with tolerance for several times. Then, the conjugation of ionoxide silica nanoparticles with AFP antibody AB2 achieved through the EDC NHS reaction in MES buffer. In the final product, were washed and separated using a magnet to obtain the AB2 conjugated ionoxide silica nanoparticles. Figure 3 is the experimental procedure of fluoro magnetic illumination based on using AB1 conjugated GQD and AB2 conjugated iron oxide silicon nanoparticles for AFP detection. And the AFP detection was performed in two steps that the AFP antigen was initially incubated with AB2 conjugated iron oxide silicon nanoparticles, then the AB1 conjugated GQD were added to form a sandwich illumino complex separated by the magnet. Finally, the obtained illumino complex was determined with fluorescence signal. As present in figure 4, TEM imagery and the UVVS absorption spectrum of GQDs will show that the as prepared GQDs presented good dispersion in water solution with the size of 3.4 nanometers and these GQDs with blue fluorescence exhibited an absorption peak at the wavelength of 358 nanometers. Figure 5 is the TM images of the fabricated ion oxide, ion oxide kosher nanoparticles, and the amine functionalized nanoparticles. The resulting 
ion oxide nanoparticles possessed an average size of 9.8 nanometers with spherical shape, and the silica coating is uniform with thickness of 9 nanometers, and the ion oxide nanoparticles were composed of 10 nanometer core diameter and 9 nanometer shell thickness. The amine functionalized ion oxide silica nanoparticles present the core shell structure and the similar size with ion oxide silica nanoparticles. The silica shell not only prevented the particle agglomeration, but also avoid the possible fluorescence quenching effect by the ion oxide cores. In this work, we developed a simple and accurate assay strategy based on fluorescence magnetic sandwich structure, AB1 conjugated GQD, connected AFP, and AB2 conjugated the ion oxide silica illumino complex. In the future, we will explore the sensitivity of the GQD ion oxide silica nanoparticles based Illumi assay method for the targeted AFP detection and to quantitative analyze the AFP detection limits of GQD ion oxide silica nanoparticles based Illumi assay method. And this method can be an available platform for medical diagnosis and the flora Illumi assay device application. This research was supported by the seed funding program for basic research, seed funding program for applied research, and a small project funding program from the University of Hong Kong RGC GRF grant, ITF TILA 3 funding, and the University Grant Committee of Hong Kong. Furthermore, thank you very much for the Nanophotonics and Micro Nano Optics International Conference Organizing Committee offer me the opportunity to do the online presentation for my research project. And this is my presentation. Thank you for all your patience.